will not throw away your kitchen waste after watching this video because in this video we are going to see how to make compost out from your kitchen waste so please watch this video until the end and if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button to see more videos just like this i have collected some of my kitchen waste here banana peels eggshells and other vegetable peels here so now let's start the first requirement is a container just as like this with a minimum capacity of 15 liters in it. I have taken a plastic bucket here and I am going to prepare prepare our compost within it. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am going to make some drainage holes at the bottom of our container. You can use a drill or use this method to make the drainage holes at the bottom of your container. Please make sure that you have made decent sized drainage holes and you have made at least four of them under the bottom of your container because during the process there will be water coming out from the container so that it should be drained out from our container okay now our drainage holes are ready this is how it should be made and you have to make at least minimum of four drainage holes at the bottom of your container you have to fill it with pieces of paper you have to tear some paper and then you have to fill at the bottom of your container and then you have to pack it well i will show you how to do it you have to place the paper pieces at the bottom of your container as the second layer i am going to place the banana peels into it banana peels are very good source of sulfur and phosphorus which will be very good for the growth of your plants. I have added all the banana peels into the container. You can use banana peels and other vegetable or food peels as well. Now you have to pack it tightly under the container and this is how it should be looking like. Okay, as the next layer I am going to add the eggshells. I am going to crush the eggshells into smaller pieces, pieces and I am going to add above the layer of the banana peels. Eggshells are also very good source of calcium which will be very useful for the plants. Okay, you have to add the eggshells evenly on the top of the banana peel layer. You can use any waste material from your kitchen to make this compost. Okay. Now on the top of the eggshell, I am going to add our uh, other vegetable peels such as onion peel, potato peel into the container. Okay, now I'm make it I'm making it even on the top of our container. You can select the size of the container according to, to your need. If you need a larger amount of combos, you have to select a larger container okay now what I am going to do is I am going to add some soil as you can see it is also having some earthworms in it earthworms are also very good in compost they will make the degradation process faster in the container so try to add some earthworms also in the container okay now what I am going to do is I am going to mix all them on the top and I am going to mix the make the soil on the top of the container even after adding the soil you can also add some cow dung into this that will also make the composting process more faster and more easier okay now I am going to add a little bit of cow dung into the container this will make the composting process more easier and faster. There are so many bacteria present this in this cow dung. You can use cow dung powder as well if you have cow dung powder. This is uh, raining here so I don't get cow dung pow powder. That's why I use the cow dung directly into the container. Now the placement of your container is very important. You have to place your container outside just as like this. You have to place uh, in a higher position so that the uh, water coming out from the bottom will be drained out 
so you should place uh, make sure that you place your container just as like this and you have to keep it uh, for at least 45 days and during each 3 to 4 days you have to mix the components very well you can take the container in your hand and then you can shake it to ensure the proper mixing okay but uh, you have to also do another thing you have to close the top of your container you don't have to use any airtight uh, lid to close the top because uh, there should be air circulation into the container so that bacteria can enter into the uh, composting area and the process uh, will be smoother okay this is how you can make the compost at your home friends if you like this video please hit, uh, give it a thumbs up and if you have any doubts in this video please let me know in our comment section and if you want this uh, want an update uh, on this video please let me know in our comment section also and thanks for watching guys have a nice day and please try this trick at your home this compost is very effective and very useful and please try this trick at your home